Hi, thanks for expressing interest in this ShipStation to NetSuite integration app. Nova module has a pre-built solution for you. Utilizing Celigo's proprietary platform Integrator IO, we both implement and build integration products, both owned by Nova and Celigo. Some of the popular integrations include ShipStation, WooCommerce, Stripe, and a few others. Let's take a look at the overall functionality of the ShipStation to NetSuite integration. Our key points will include the sales order export from NetSuite to ShipStation, cancellations from NetSuite to ShipStation, fulfillment import from NetSuite to ShipStation, as well as item updates. Let's take a look at the platform. Once the license is provisioned for the integration, here within your Integrator IO home dashboard, a product tile will appear. From this, you can navigate into your system integration settings. To start off, we have the order flow, and this is what we use to export sales order data from NetSuite to ShipStation. We'll take a sales order in a pending fulfillment status export that out of NetSuite via a safe search, import that into ShipStation to create your order record. You input all of your relevant shipping data to generate your rate, create label, mark that order as shipped, and then via the fulfillment flow, we'll import that data back into NetSuite. An item fulfillment will be created in the shipped status with relevant tracking detail, like tracking number, package weight, service code selected, as well as shipping cost. You can also export an item fulfillment record if you start your fulfillment process within NetSuite. We can take a fulfillment record in a picked or packed status, export that to ShipStation as the sales order. Queue your fulfillment process, mark that order as shipped, and then via that same fulfillment flow, what we'll do instead of creating a fulfillment record is update the already existing one to change the status from picked or packed to shipped. The next flow we have in scope is the product update flow. Now bear in mind, this is an update flow, not a create. What this means is that on an item record in ShipStation, we'll sync this up to the item in NetSuite based off of the SKU. And if on an item record in NetSuite, an update has been made, we'll push those item attribute updates like the UPC code, weights or dimensions, harmonization code, just to name a few examples. This maintains your product catalog and is typically used more so for the use of international shipments. The last of those flows includes cancellations. So you do have the option to cancel bidirectionally. The sales order is exported over to ShipStation and it's in an awaiting shipment status. You can cancel the order here in ShipStation, then the integration will close out that sales order in NetSuite. Or you can cancel the order here in NetSuite, or in other words, close it out, then the integration will cancel the order in ShipStation so long as it's in an awaiting shipment status. All of these integration flows run on a batch frequency and that schedule can be changed out here within the schedule settings of your Integrator IO platform. You can use the Chrome expression setting to get a bit more detailed with timing in regards to minutes, hours. And with this, the most frequently that you can run it is every five minutes or you can use a preset frequency if you're only syncing a few times a day or every few hours, just depends on your use case. The dashboard allows for monitoring of the integration to see the success of the flow or if any errors had occurred. Thanks for your time. That covers the out-of-the-box functionality of the ShipStation to NetSuite integration.